A new technique of extracting natural gas from underground shale formations has ignited a boom in drilling across Pennsylvania. Drillers have installed 60 wells in the last year around once quiet Dimmick, Pennsylvania. The drilling brought heavy trucks, contamination of drinking water with methane, and three chemical spills that caused a fish kill and damaged wetlands. This is the home of Norma Fiorentino, who lives about a football field away from a drilling site operated by Cabot Oil and Gas of Houston. My name is Norma Fiorentino. I live here in Dimmick. It's a small burg in the northeastern Pennsylvania. And I came home on June, January 1st from my daughter's house having a, a holiday dinner to find my well had blew up and um, called the fire company and they called Cabot. Cabot came down and they did a bunch of stuff that night, but testing and stuff. The EP came back the next day, but I never saw anything more of Cabot. And for 11 months, I've been trying to call them to give me some water because my well was shut right down for a whole month because of the gas in it. And um, I naturally couldn't drink water I didn't have. And, and then when it opened back up again, it was full of things that weren't supposed to be there. And I wasn't drinking it then either. And October 28th, 2009, they finally did bring me some water. And I'm going to get water on my sink also. Um, I really appreciate having clean water to drink for a change. For a while, how were you getting your water? I was carrying it or buying it. And you had to go to your neighbor's house to fill yes. up buckets fill of water? fill up buckets of water because I had horses and dogs and cats to feed all, feed and water also. And it took a lot of water to, to pull. And besides that, I had to buy drinking water because I wasn't sure if their water was good either. I'm Victoria Schweitzer and I'm here in Dimmick, Pennsylvania, Susquehanna County. Um, and January of this year we had an explosion not even a mile away on Carter Road. A woman's water well blew up and that really put us on alert. After that everyone was watching their methane levels, ours quadrupled, our water bubbled. Um, we stopped drinking our water. We've been buying water for nine months, ten months just about. And uh, our lives are forever altered by that event. And some events that have happened before that too. We had concerns with water, orange water. Um, over the winter, uh, my neighbor's pond didn't freeze over, it bubbled. All these things that things were not right with nature out here. The Chesapeake Bay Foundation is fighting to protect our streams, rivers, and drinking water. We're pushing for stronger state oversight of drilling operations and an end to a loophole for hydraulic fracturing in the Federal Safe Drinking Water Act. Join us in our fight for clean water. Go to cbf.org.